Good summer so far. Yeah. 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 That's been great. Good for you guys. Good way to switch off. Welcome to Australia. Welcome. 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 On the 2nd of January, a relaxed looking Rudd hosted a reception for the Pakistani cricket team. We worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later, Gillard came for a meeting. Just the Prime Minister and his deputy. No advisers. Their memories of it are fundamentally different. We were staring out at Sydney Harbour. I remember very clearly. We were sitting on the, uh, the patio outside uh, Kirribilli. I looked at Kevin and thought he has not refreshed over this Christmas New Year period. Then she went straight to the point. She'd thought about it a lot over the summer and she concluded that there are no reasons uh, that she could um, support us having a double dissolution uh, on climate change. Every bit of me read him as uh, reluctant to go to an early election, not, you know, physically, um, psychologically in the zone uh, to go and fight an election campaign. I was seriously worried about his psychological state. I thought he wasn't coping uh, and he wasn't showing any signs of finding a way back to coping. Gillard now claims she had doubts about the Prime Minister's capacity to do his job. At that point, if you'd asked him to make a huge decision as Prime Minister on that day, yes, I would have been concerned about his capacity. Uh, my sense of him at that point was that he was uh, spent in a physical and a psychological sense. If that was a serious view on Julia's part at the time, then she would have had an obligation to go to the National Security Committee of the Cabinet and put it forward. It didn't form any element, direct or indirect, in our conversation. It's absolute bollocks.